All right, well, I ought to, I ought to do my spiel for you. Um, first of all, in an age of moral decay, I figured we needed some boat rules. Draw the line somewhere. So, boat rule number one sets the limit. You're not allowed to piss or shit in the canoe. <laughs> and uh, boat rule number two is that we troll, but we troll for research purposes only. You're not allowed to enjoy it. <laughs> and that's my way of finding out whether the people I'm going to spend the next eight hours with have a sense of humor or not. Because every once in a while somebody doesn't think that's funny. And I figure, oh boy. <laughs> um, and boat rule number three has been forgotten but will be remembered when I need a rule. Uh, but more seriously, basically, the secret to success in this fishery is search and stealth. So, if, we're, if you're not actually getting strikes and catching fish, then you should be in search mode. And if, so if you're fishing down a bar or something, keep moving, because you've got to find the fish. There's no point in casting over places where the fish aren't. So the secret is to try to spend as much time as you can where the fish are. And if they're, if they're not where you are, then keep moving. Um, so if you're working your way down a flat or a bar and you get a strike, stop and cast at least two or three more times in that spot. If you don't get another strike or, an, or a fish, then start moving again, but start moving slowly. And then if you continue not getting strikes, then you can speed up. Uh, if... What? I'm sorry, I, over that plane, I can't hear you. Try again. Uh-huh. whistles and I'll if I think of it I'll give you each a whistle to use because sometimes we get far enough apart so it's helpful to communicate you do good for you I'm always surprised at how few people carry whistles and it's I think it's an important piece of gear Oh, it's easy to... Well, and if you... It's a way of making enough noise so somebody can hear you. Yeah, good for you. Yeah.
Oh yeah, you can get disoriented. <clears throat> anyway, so our whistle codes are one one short blast is I've I've is is basically one is yes, two is no, and three is help. One short blast is informational means I've gotten a strike or I've got a fish. One long blast is invitational, means I'm into fish, and if you're not, get your ass over here because there are fish here. Two blasts are <clears throat> basically, let's move on and get out of here. Uh, two short blasts are and the, basically the upcurrent person is responsible for bringing the canoe down for obvious reasons. Um, so two short blasts are let's get out of here and two short, two long blasts are let's get the fuck out of here. Um, then uh, three blasts is help. Three short blasts are I could use some help. Three long blasts are, I don't care if you've got a fish of a lifetime on, I'm in deep shit. Please come and save me. We've never had to use it, but it's there. <clears throat> and, uh, but <clears throat> when we get in and out of a canoe, there are things to be careful of. First of all, the canoe is lined with highly breakable rods, so you gotta be careful that way. People fall in when they're getting in and out of the canoe. That's the most common time. So you don't want to do that. And you don't want to drop your paddle into the bottom of the canoe when we get out of it because you've just let every fish in the area know we're here. And we like to be stealthy. <clears throat> Livy, if your line gets heavy, then you need to pull it in and take the crap that it's picked up off the hook. But it's probably okay. I would hold your rod further, flatter. Just, and, you know, probably wouldn't hurt to give it a little bit of action. Just, you know, forward and back. Yeah, that way or with the rod. Just give it a little jerks. What? A what? Oh, it's 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 a it's a sinking head, yeah. <clears throat> these uh these rods are rigged, I should explain that. These rods are rigged with a, about the two weights anyway, are rigged with a, about a 12 foot fast sink six or seven weight shooting head. And behind that, there's 50 or 60 feet of flat monofilament. And that way you can get a lot of backing onto a trout reel. And it casts pretty well in the wind. The backing is, is uh, not mono, um, it's just braided nylon or whatever, that's for the bats behind the, the flat mono. The flat mono is just a shooting line. <clears throat> and you've got a, about a 12 to 16 pound tippet on the line, so you can pull pretty hard on these fish without breaking off, as long as you don't have knots in the leader. If you do have knots in the leader, it's best to get them out as soon as you see them. I mean, unintended knots. Yeah, wind knots. <clears throat> yeah.
happens to all of us. That's right. <clears throat> Back in May, we were getting lots of lots of fish trolling up up to here in the upper river. But at this point, we we haven't been getting fish up here. But we keep trolling. Every once in a while, you get one. What? Uh, I think that, no, it was just that there were a lot of small fish in the upper river early in the season. <clears throat> 